Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be doing a review on the Griffin PowerDock Dual for the iPad and iPhone or iPod. I'd just like to say before I start, thanks very much to Dave at Geekanoids for sending me this over for review. And you'll find that the pricing for this in the UK, you can find it for about £36 on Amazon plus delivery. In the US it's about $50 to $60. So what this device is actually for is to give you a place to charge not only your iPad but also your iPhone or your iPod at the same time and also give you a, a small tray at the front here for placing your keys or your change or whatever the case may be. If we just turn the box round here you can see that we've got the same picture showing you the iPad and you can use either the iPad 1 or the iPad 2 in this and then either the iPod or the iPhone, any version. At the front you've got this dish here for your change or for your keys and there's two charging supplies. There's a 10 watt 2 amp charging supply for the iPad and a 5 watt 1 amp charging supply for the iPhone. So let's just open this up and see what we get in the box. So that's everything that's in there. We've got some instructions here and directions on how to use this device and then in the box itself we've got the charger and I presume that you can slot different international plug sockets in here so you can either use it with the UK or the US or Europe we'll see that in a moment and then also in the box we've got here what looks like the actual tray itself and then in these packages we've got a European plug socket that goes on the power brick we've got another plug one here we've got a US plug socket here and also and obviously most importantly for me we've got the UK plug socket here so a whole array of different sockets that you can use to plug in pretty much anywhere you're going to be travelling which is a nice thing to include so let's just take out this dock here and there it is you can see the 30 pin connector for the iPad and also for the iPod or the iPhone it's got like a little tray here where you can place anything that you want to to keep alongside it maybe your car keys and then it's got some rubber here on the base to keep it still and obviously protect the surface that you're putting it on and then we've got the 9 volt DC charger at the back here. Looks quite smart sitting on the desk, it's got a nice finish to it, part glossy, part matte. Also in the box here we get these two little clear plastic strips which just go along the back of it to keep your device supported when it's actually plugged in. So we'll just open these up here, clips in at the front here and I think we just push it in so you just push that in and pull it backwards and then we've got another one here to give some support at the back and you just push that in and then once we've got that we can get our iPad 2 and that should just slot nicely into place there and it does indeed and it's nicely supported by the plastic at the back to stop it actually bending the 30 pin connector once we've done that we can also get our iPhone or our iPod and plug that in and there we go we've got a nice dock there for both the iPad 1 or 2 and also the iPhone 3GS 4 or even an iPod touch and the thing that's nice is you could have this next to your bed and then you can just plug your iPad in at night, plug your iPhone in at night and then maybe even just drop your car keys here or your change in the front of it and I think this is a really smart device. I'm actually going to use this on my bedside table so when I finish with my iPad and my iPhone at night I can just plug them straight into here, leave them charging overnight and also have my keys or my change available to me here and just have it all in one place. So that was my review of the Griffin PowerDock Dual. I think this is a really nice bit of kit. I think it looks really nice. It's going to be sitting on my sideboard next to my bed plugging in both the iPad and the iPhone and also charging them at the same time and also giving you this unique bit of space here for your keys. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
So that was my review of the Pific.